Hey there, it's Pastor Eddie. Just wanted to take just a few minutes and share a devotion and then give you an update where we are dealing with all the craziness that's happening around us right now. I've been pulling the devotions from the upper room and this particular devotion, the Bible verse is one of my favorites and it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. That's part of the Sermon on the Mount from Jesus in Matthew 5, 6, and 7. And this particular one is Matthew 6, verse 33. Let me read just a few uh, uh, lines of the first paragraph of our devotion. It can be easy to prioritize many things over God. Our families, our jobs, our studies, sports, or music. When I was a teenager, the author says, I gave importance to things like the cinema, games, music, TV programs, but when I came to know my Lord Jesus, he reminded me, you are mine. You should give me the first place in your life. When you seek me and my kingdom, you will lack nothing. Now that I have my priorities in order, I have found this to be true. And she goes on to explain some other areas uh, regarding the uh, devotion on priorities. But when I read her paragraph, and of course the Bible verse, it gave me a couple thoughts I wanted to share with you this week. First one is, are you seeking the Lord first in life? I know we're worried about the craziness, as I said a moment ago, in the world that we live in, but are we spending time every day just in a devotion, even if it's one Bible verse? Secondly, I want to renew my challenge of reading one of the Psalms each and every day. I continue to do that with my girls at the house, and uh, we look forward to that each day and just share a little bit about that. And then finally, in the evenings, I'm reminded of that great old hymn. It's found in our old Cokesbury. And it, the first line goes like this. It says, if I have wounded any soul today, if I have caused one foot to go astray, if I have done anything in my own willful way, dear Lord, please forgive. So it kind of ends the day for me in my prayer life seeking the Lord for forgiveness in sins of uh, commission and sins especially of omission. Well, you know, we're in a difficult time, as we all know, but we're trying to find God in the midst of this world we're in. Uh, when you read uh, social media, you get all kinds of ideas from one spectrum to the other about what's going on and what's taking place. But one thing is for sure that we know and that uh, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. <laughs> That's for sure. So with that, how can I have peace? I believe the answer is by seeking God first. We're going to continue to have our uh, worship service on Facebook Live coming this Sunday uh, at 8 o'clock and uh, some different styles of music we're going to add. It'll be the last Sunday of the month, so we have our mission moment. Brother Rick Descharm, our, our mission chairperson, is going to be sending in uh, a clip so that we can watch that as well. And we're just going to worship the best of our ability, even though we are uh, far away from each other at this moment. And we're going to seek the Lord. And I just encourage you, if you haven't done it already today, get into a regiment and uh, follow suit. Like I said, maybe reading a psalm a day, having special prayers in the morning, and lifting up maybe the question of the upper room devotion, like today, am I seeking God first? And then your evening prayers. You know, God, if have I done something wrong today? Maybe I'm not even aware of. Please forgive. And I believe as we do that, we will be growing spiritually even when we're physically apart. Hope to see you this Sunday at 8 o'clock. Blessings.